Bees smash the Potters. I'm Stuart Hughes and this is your Bees Bulletin. Brentford are now unbeaten in five in the league for the first time this season after an impressive 3-1 victory over Stoke City. A Ryan Shawcross own goal put the Bees ahead after seven minutes. Here's how Mark Burridge saw our second and third. Watkins back into the box of so it's great for away from Brentford. Oh, what a fantastic goal that is! Ben Rama with it. Superb football. That could easily be goal of the season. And Ben Rama just passes it into the far corner. Superb from Brentford. And Brentford lead by two goals to nil. Still Rico Henry on his right foot. Oh, yes! What a time to get your first goal for the Bees! Rico oh, Henry into the left hand side of the net. Pass Jack Butland, a fantastic goal. He skipped forward into the edge of the penalty area, rifled it past Butland. It's Brentford 3, Stoke City 1. Brentford were dominant throughout. The Potters managed just one shot on target and Mopai and Watkins both hit the crossbar. Some fans even broke into a chant of Thomas Frank's Barmy Army just before the final whistle. Who could have imagined that just a few weeks ago? So was it the gaffer's most satisfying day so far as head coach? One of them, definitely. This was a more or less complete performance for the first second to the last second. We totally dominated and controlled the game. We created a lot of opportunities. We've been waiting for this good performance and a clear win for a long time. So it was really pleasing. Henrik Dalsgaard would just like to have kept a clean sheet. I'm still a little bit unhappy they had to score the goal when they did. I think the performance today was maybe the best of the season. We can keep working on the small details and we'll be a very, very hard side to beat. Confidence will be high when the Bees play the first of three away games in the league and FA Cup next Saturday. They travel to the New York Stadium to meet Rotherham United. I'm Stuart Hughes. Listen, subscribe and share at beesbulletin.co.uk.